Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. <laughs> so, welcome to the stream. I was waiting uh, for MVL and Grishuk to finish, and what a match that was. Um, slightly disappointed. It wasn't closer than it was in the end, but um, kudos to Grishuk. Let me know in the chat if you've seen the match. I assume most people will. I saw quite a few of you uh, in the Twitch chat over there. Um, I waited until the player interviews were over as well to start my stream and I really enjoyed um, <laughs> the interviews and especially what Grishuk said about the Grand Prix. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, Grishuk basically said the Grand Prix refutes the Nidor <laughs> and I couldn't agree more with him. Um, if I'm giggling so much, I'm not, I haven't had any wine or anything, I just think I'm a little punch drunk. It's been a few busy days. Um, yeah, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the match, well, too bad for you. Um, but yeah, kudos, kudos to, to Grishuk, who played some spectacular chess tonight. I see Chesper is in the chat. Maybe she can uh, post the link to the clip she made there. I think she she was the one who did it. But um, that mate in the end was one sexy mate. I can tell you that. And yeah, it is true. Uh, MVL did trash talk uh, the Grand P right back saying he was looking forward to Sasha playing in it uh, in a classical game over um, over the board. I, I of course I hope that's going to happen someday. Um, you know me, I'm a sucker for the Grand Prix. Uh, so yeah, my initial plan was to stream before the match. Then I thought I'll wait until after, but they always go on longer than I plan for them to do. Um, as I say. You probably know if you've been with me for a while that I'm a big MVL fan. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I was really cheering for him, but I think just not his night really. Um, as he pointed out and interviews himself, I think after that first portion, five plus two, a five game deficit is just too much to come back from. I had faith almost until the very end. Um, I I thought he could pull it back in the in the bullet section where actually I that's another talking point for I mean it's not a big talking point but I thought it was I was quite surprised I have to say uh, to see Grishuk let his time uh, run down especially against um, MVL who is very I mean they're very good friends and um, when he when Grishuk explained his strategy in the the post match interview i could see his point but then mvl also did say he found it quite unnecessary and i think i have to agree with mvl um i think at that point the match was pretty much decided anyway and to to let his clock run down a mate a move before mate with 30 seconds on the clock was a bit strange but um I mean, I'm I'm not uh, judging him too harshly. There, I see a lot of people in the chat are saying they're big Grishuk fans. Of course, I say I was cheering for MVL because he's a friend, um, but I also love Grishuk. He, I I also very much love his humor. He has maybe one of the driest humors I know in anyone in the world, and um, cracks me up as well. I couldn't agree more. Uh, Jess Bay, Asios, <laughs> good to see you, Asios. Um, I am actually going to now start setting up a tournament because tonight's stream I don't think will go on for too long. Um, IRL Binky, new name there, I think. I probably need to stop saying this soon. Oh, by the way, I noticed that before I, um, <laughs> before I, uh, before I, I'm losing the plot already. Before I started streaming, I noticed that I have now 1,499 followers. So my next follower is going to be number 1,500. It's not a huge benchmark, but a, men a benchmark uh, nonetheless. Jasper, yes, I did see. <laughs> I did see um, Grishuk's answer. So Jasper is referring to Mike Klein's excellent match preview, which was published on chess.com last night. And uh, the players each had to answer 10 questions. And one of the questions was, 
what is the best what is your favorite wine or I, I can't remember exactly and then Grishuk said vodka is the best wine <laughs> which I thought was hilarious um, and yeah King Vicky is disagreeing there with me yeah I think I, I, I think it's something that can be argued about and um, but still I think it's something I might... Oh, and there we go. Who's Dean O? <laughs> Number 1,500. Now to go for even bigger goals. Um, IRL Binky. How is my mother doing in her tournament? She's doing surprisingly well. If you missed one of my last streams, I was saying my mother is currently playing her first ever uh, classical time control tournament. And she's on three out of five. Um, so I'm really happy for actually the same score as my dad, <laughs> who has been playing for ages. And uh, I, I hope they will not be paired against each other because that would be really funny. And But yeah, she's doing well and I'm very, very happy for her. Let me uh, set up a tournament. I see Bigfoot is streaming as well. Um, we did joke in the, in the chess.com chat that we were going to have a stream fight stream battle but uh yeah as i said tonight the tournament i think i will only make it half an hour <laughs> because i am exhausted um so let's do this now so duration will just be half an hour tonight because i need some sleep <laughs> urgently time before the tournament starts let's make that 20 minutes i want to um entry plus or shall we make it two minutes for a change? That way we can get more games in. So let's make it two minutes for a change. Uh, two minutes time control. The duration will be half an hour. And we will start in 20 minutes. Um, now if someone in the chat could be kind enough to put the link uh, to the tournament, that'd be great. Uh, gravy boot. What kind of rating do my parents have? Well, my mom, as I, as she, my mom is really basically just a beginner. Like I can't even talk about rating because she, she just knows how to move the pieces. But it was really funny. I think two months ago when she decided to play in this tournament, I was there, I was at home when this happened. Uh, and she suddenly said, well, you know what? Because I mean, she was going to the tournament with my dad anyway. But then at some point she was just like, well, I'm just going to be, I'm just gonna play too. And then somehow she got such a motivation boost that she started solving tactics every day, <laughs> putting me to shame. Actually, just before she left uh, to Corsica, she told me, Fiona, why don't you do this? And I was like, yeah, I really should. And she's like, why don't you start today? And I, I will at some point. But as I've been saying the other day, um, tactics and me they, they sometimes they can tilt me very badly so i had this at some point last year i had this spell where i was solving tactics for a few hours a day but it could when things were going wrong it's a bit like i don't play poker very often but when i i mean i'm just too emotional like i tilt so easily um, but yeah, I think it's one of the things I'm planning to do eventually, solve tactics every day. Maybe even if it, I think even if it's just 15, 20 minutes, so helpful. Um, and my dad is rated about 15, 1600. And he will be playing in a tournament with me in November. We're both going to, um, to play in the Faroe Islands in a so-called Runavik Open. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I was, um, in a tournament with my dad this summer but I wasn't playing so this will be the first time in many years uh, we're actually playing the same tournament so I'm looking forward to that um Nimso Blitz well done Fiona's mom how did your game go yesterday well before we start with the tournament uh, which will start oh I see Thibaut has registered to play uh in the in the tournament, which is great news, uh, Thibaut, if you don't know him, of course, the founder of Lee Chess. And once again, I, I can't say, I mean, I can't stress enough what amaz what an amazing job he's done and what a fantastic project it is. And um, I was just talking to a friend this morning and 
we were talking about how I think Lee Chess really is the best place uh, to be playing, how smooth it is and all the variants, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, great to have Thibaut on the tournament. Uh, Chiru in the chat here is asking why two minutes? Because so little stream time tonight. I can't even spell anymore. Back to tree zero next time. Um, yeah, once again, do get registered. Only six people so far. About back to my game yesterday. I will be showing that in a second. Um, Overnight TV. Good evening. Catch Rocket Moo, long time no see. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, this tilting thing, I think it's something. Maybe I just need to see a psychologist or something in general to not tilt so easily in life. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get a grip on it someday. Frozen Edge, good to see you. Chess Society. Nimso Blitz, you've never played on Lee Chess. Where have you been? Just get registered to the tournament already. GM, yeah, GM Ooves or GM G Moves. I was uh, looking up his profile earlier, actually. Very interesting description there and very detailed description behind your username. Uh, link to Tony if Asios is still around. Asio, I should just hire Asios as my, uh, as my, um, how do I? <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. As my... There's a word I'm looking for. As my... Per, as my PA, but that's not what I was trying to say. Asias, will you be my PA? <laughs> it's a full-time... Well, it's not a full-time job. All you ever need to do is put leech, uh, leeches links in the tournament. A moderator, yeah. I don't think there's any moderators in here tonight. I don't think Dan is around. Um... But I keep saying this. <laughs> Actually, Asios, once again, if you weren't with me this summer when I did my special 1K stream, uh, that is still on YouTube. The end of it got very messy. We did a six-hour stream. I was in Oslo uh, with Asios and some other friends, but Asios was of great help uh, ba back then. Talvin Jacobs, also a long time, see. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, tequila. We did... <laughs> Actually, I remember. So we we did this six-hour stream. <laughs> and we said, because we started, I think, at 2 p.m. And we thought, if we start drinking at 2 p.m., this is not going to end well. So we did three hours sober. And we started doing tequila shots for every donation at 5 p.m. And literally, after the first shot or the second shot, I thought I'd lost Asios. Like... Asios, no offense, but he's quite pale to start with. <laughs> but Asios just went livid and had to go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh dear, poor Asios. But uh, no, we, we got there. Uh, we lasted the whole six hours. We had a penguin call in via Skype. Uh, we had the ginger GM. The last couple of hours are a bit of a blur for me. I, I, um, I watched some of it on YouTube afterwards. Also, sorry for not really playing any chess right now, but <laughs> I'm just more in a chatty mood. And uh, yeah, I, I looked at the end of the stream on YouTube, and I think the last 20 minutes was just basically saying, me saying, I love you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of love uh, for you guys on that special stream. My plan was to... So this was a special 1K six-hour stream, and my plan is to have a 12-hour stream when I hit 5K subscribers on YouTube, but I'm still a long way off. Haven't been that active, but very soon I'll start vlogging again. I also, I was thinking, someday I should really put up some, um, someday I should really put up some educational content on my YouTube channel, but... Um, I haven't really gotten around to that yet. Um, DST00, also I think new to the stream. Hello, are you close to become a woman GM? Unfortunately not, but it's still, it's still a goal. I, I was very close to scoring 
my first woman GM norm back in 2008. So almost 10 years ago. And then I never came close again, which is shocking. Aura Night TV, what about playing and talking at the same time? Very good idea. <laughs> um, but before I play, let me show you the game I played yesterday. I think it will be quite quick because my poor opponent didn't handle the opening very well and I was not in a mood. <laughs> Basically, I was very disappointed to be black because uh, if you were here on the other night, I was talking about how much I want to be playing the King's Gambit again. And um, basically, my black repertoire is not op uh, is not aggressive enough for my style of play. And even yesterday morning, just before I left to the game, I was like, "What if he even goes d4? I have no opening." So I just had a look at some. I was going to play d4, d6, but I've been so sick of that lately. Um, and I was I was late to the game. We were late because we got couldn't find a parking space or something else. It took us longer to get there than expected. If you, I, I actually, maybe I can show you this. We were playing um, on the countryside in Luxembourg. Let me show you my tweet. It's quite funny when I come from, um, whoops. <laughs> uh, when I come from working on tournaments like the Isle of Man, and then that was the setting we were playing in yesterday. <laughs> So that is the Luxembourgish countryside there. These are my lovely teammates. Um, that's what the playing hall looked like. And that uh, was our final result. A lot closer than I hoped for it. Well, than we all hoped for it to be. But um, I guess a win is a win uh, in the end. So yeah, that was the game. So as I said, I mean, I'm really struggling with <laughs> talking tonight. I talk a lot though. Uh, frozen edge. Drunk streams are educational for younger viewers. Don't drink false. Yeah. <laughs> you have a point there. But um, what was I saying? I was late. I was black. And when I arrived, I saw my clock was ticking, but my opponent hadn't actually made a move. So he just like, I guess when they started the, the match, he just pressed his clock without making a move. And I was like, what is this? So anyway, I got there and then I was like, well, you should really make And then he played and I was so relieved when he played E4. Such a relief. So, okay, here goes anyway. So he went E4. Let me just flip the board. How do I even flip the board around? Oh, here. Um, so E4. Um, <laughs> E4, E5. And then when he, I was sort of hoping for bishop b5. I'm not totally, I hadn't made up my mind totally, but I think there's a fair chance I would have played f5 after bishop b5 because I wasn't quite an aggressive, <laughs> no-nonsense move. But then he played uh, bishop c4 and I thought, oh dear, I'm going to, it's going to be a long maneuvering game. But then when he played here, I mean, one of the normal moves is c3, of course, and then you're just in for a long positional maneuvering game. I was, I was already wondering how I was going to deal with it. I was um, going to maybe play some lines with... <laughs> the is, I couldn't really remember how they went, but I remember once experimenting with castling, playing king h8, get the knight away, and play f5. I mean, no matter, no matter what would have happened, I would have tried to get some kingside pawns rolling but it turned out a lot better than I could have hoped for because he went bishop g5 instead of c4 c3 which I sort of expected and again my theoretical knowledge is just not good enough if there's any good players in the chat or any Italian experts maybe they can tell me but here I thought for a while and I thought maybe bishop uh, g5 is really interesting and following up with just not castling a uh, queenside, just go for the attack. And I sort of, I mean, I've been playing the Italian as black pretty much all my life. I even tried it a few times. Um, I even tried it a few times as white. But this was sort of a novel position to me. I don't know if it's, if it's good for white. I had a very quick look at it with the engine. And basically what the engine likes here for white is uh, h4 
And H4, I, I saw this during the game, but I thought that uh, I thought knight h7 was strong, but turns out that after knight d2, uh, white just holds things together and probably uh, has a slight edge. But I mean, I would have been very happy to play this anyway because at least I got the double edged position I wanted. And in the game, as it was, though, he played b4, bishop b6, and now h3 is already not a losing mistake, but very close to being a losing mistake, because after bishop uh, takes f3, turns out he has to take with the g-pawn. Queen takes basically just uh, loses. But even after she takes h3, I go h4, queen d7, and this just doesn't look good for white at all. I don't think um, you probably have to play king g2. Still, I'm going to castle uh, queenside, somehow get my knight. I was thinking maybe just bring my knight to f4, and I think even this must be very, very good uh, for black. But as it was after queen f3, now something really strange happened because all of this I calculated from quite a distance because after h3, I was even thinking, I thought I have two options, either go h4 or take on f3. But I thought the advantage of taking on f3, um, yeah, check Matov. I know I could turn on the engine, but <laughs> once a while back I turned on the engine and my stream just crashed. So, um, I mean, you can... This I think the study is public, so you can do that for yourselves. And also, I like to avoid using an engine when I can and maybe just talk you through what my feelings were. Like, engines are great to find out the truth, but they are such spoil sports. Uh, as I say, I did look it up with an engine earlier, though, and after H3, it's basically just a huge advantage for black already. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Spirit is in the study with me. Uh, but anyway, so after uh, h3, I thought that bishop f3 just forces matters. And what I thought here, I thought after g4, I thought he has to um, he has to take, is what I thought, and go back. And my plan here was to just play queen d7 and follow it up with knight h5. And I also, okay, let's have a quick glance at the engine. Let's risk it. Yeah, so after e, h, uh, yeah, so basically, I mean, basically at this point, it's already lost. Because I was thinking, h takes, takes, queen e2. Oh, and bishop h, knight h5 actually works even immediately. I thought he could take here, but what's the point? Okay, so just this is good enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna get cancelled, I guess, and play rook g8. So yeah, none of the, I mean, at this point, basically, it's already game over, but my opponent played uh, bishop, uh, queen f5 instantly. Like, literally instantly. He didn't even write down g4. Um, and then it's just game over immediately, because h4, um, h4 forces this, and you... You've just lost a piece, and now you have to give up another exchange. All of this is forced, and I have d5 as well. So basically, all of this is forced, but now you're just a rook down. And here, I think here was the only last... Only four minutes till the tournament starts. Okay, I mean, we're almost at the end of this game anyway. But um, here was the last funny moment. I actually took some time here to, to think where I wanted to go with my rook. Because the obvious move... Uh, is rook h1 just stopping white from even developing but uh, here I started so seeing some ghosts I thought maybe he can play knight d2 meanwhile I have checked that of course taking uh, and knight g8 just wins because take king e7 and there is no more check <clears throat> and I'm like two rooks up or something but what I saw was queen h8 and I thought if I go to d7 he gives another check on uh, on h3, and if I now run out to d6, I'm basically getting mated by force uh, after... How does this work? Like this, this, and this, which would have been pretty embarrassing. I mean, this is quite a funny... This is quite a funny final position to get checkmated, uh, being a piece and two rooks up. So, um, after a while, 
I descended. I mean, basically, so if the, we go down this line, uh, I have to play knight g8. It's the only winning move. But then I thought there is no point for any of this nonsense. I just play rook g8 and I'm a rook up. And I mean, it was enough here. I, I thought he would, if he wanted to play, I thought he has to play knight d2. And I was thinking I'd probably just swap keen, queens. I mean, I am a rook up. I've messed up some pretty bad games in my in my life, but this I think is too much even for me to mess up. But he just took, and then that was uh, the end of the game. So uh, for those of you, what's wrong with Frozen? <laughs> I love Frozen Edge. Uh, so yeah, for those of you, someone asked who I was playing. Um, I was playing in the Luxembourgish League. My opponents are only rated 1960. He used to be 2000 plus player. But still uh, nice to get such a win as Black in what was my first game in like almost three months. And now... Let's go back to the tournament. Let's see how many people did sign up. <laughs> Who's Irish in the chat? I I, rem I got a message asking me if I was going to play in Bonretti. I really love. I I'm I've already put it in my diary to not um not schedule anything else that that uh, weekend. I only played in Bonretti once, but I was sort of ill when I went there and I barely had a drink, <laughs> which is sort of, I mean, if you play in Bonretti, that's the entire point. You can't go to Bonretti and not have a drink. So I'm hoping to come back um, next month. Jasper is saying, Ben, the Irish apart from Astane and Amadan. I love Amadan, of course. Um, Oh, Frozen Edge is Irish. I didn't even realize. So, anyway, tournament. I hope you've all registered. Oh, there we go. And I don't even know. Does, does two minute count as bullet? Ah, it's bullet. That's why people... What am I doing? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, let's get F5 in, as we always do. I really, really, really need some, to do something about my openings very urgently. Very, very urgently. But I know I keep saying, saying this and I just don't. <clears throat> okay, now though, how good is this outpost? Okay, now at least I can breathe a bit more easily. Probably quite happy with how this game has developed. Can he take this? Well, no, he won't. And now let's go for it. Of course, you can see what I want to do is I want to take on h3. He's not stopping me. That's like waving a red flag at me. I'm not going to think about this for too long. And now... <laughs> just need to be careful not to get checkmated myself. Is he gonna... Ah, oh, he's going to play queen d3 next. Hmm. Can I keep the queens on the board? I feel this is going to end badly. But okay, let's make a run for it. I think this tournament is going to be badly from a time perspective. May I mean, I might also just get checkmated. It's going to take here with check. Mm -hmm. And take on h6 or here. Yeah, this wasn't great. Oh, this is a check as well. 
Okay. Okay. I resign. That wasn't great, was it? Not a great start, and I will need to adapt because two two minutes. I haven't played two minutes in ages, or maybe ever. So Thibaut is playing. Who else is playing? Is Asias playing? Don't tell me. Uh, Orwell Knight is playing, which is good. Goose is playing. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's berserk. Oh, Asios, that's a letdown. That is one big letdown. I like this. My opponent is coming for me. I never quite know how to take back here, but let's just take all his pieces and hope. Hope for the best. I think one of the keys to not losing all my games tonight is maybe to talk a little bit less while I play. Because this isn't easy. I'm very slow. Why do I always fall for this? Bitch lasagna. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bitch lasagna. <laughs> thank you, Spiriki. <laughs> Whatever that message was. Much appreciated. Okay, I think I have a lot of compensation here though. I mean, I did lose an exchange, but... I need... What I need is to get my other rook into... into the game. At any cost. Don't tell me I'm going to blunder my queen. Or my piece. Oh, come on. This isn't fun. <laughs> this is really no fun at all. And I'm going to get flagged as well. And I'm going to cry. Jespe, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Much needed right now. I mean, I'm just, I can't be fast. I noticed this. Like, I literally don't know how to flag someone. <laughs> it did it! <laughs> oh, dear me! Whew. It does need work, Frozen Edge, but I got there somehow. <sighs> I wish I could stop the stream right now. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. But thank you so much again, SB Ricky, for the donation and Chess Bay for the uh, for the bits. Yeah, I do need to improve my my blitz skills. But okay, here comes the Grand Prix. If I don't win in the Grand Prix, all hope is lost, basically. Let's just go. Let's go. How do we do this? <laughs> um, how do we do this? this? And maybe I need some uh, Grand Prix lessons from Grishuk because this is not what I want. Really need to keep the pieces on the board.
That is not a happy Grand Prix right there. Now you demand lasagna. I'm actually, if you don't know yet, I'm a vegetarian, but I love it. I mean, why not lose with the wing gambit? Um, <laughs> actually, I played the wing gambit, but in the French. I don't think I've ever played the wing gambit in the Sicilian. But still, maybe my position here, I think my, my position is actually fine. I need to watch out for a few things. One of the things I need to watch out for is not to get mated on G2. What's the other one? I had a few things I wanted to watch out for, but I've forgotten already. I say I like my position, but how do I improve it? I need to reroute this knight. Um, there was another question. Spiriki, you were never banned actually. I think I looked. Oh no, you were. Maybe you were. Anyway. Can I just. I need to do something, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> totally. I mean, I liked my position, but I totally lost the plot. Totally lost the plot. I mean, G3 is coming. <laughs> it's going to be a depressing evening, this. Okay, I resigned. Um, what was I saying? I wanted to answer a question in the chat earlier. I, You know, I was so tired tonight. I was actually thinking of organizing a tournament and not playing, just organizing. A message is being held for review. Let's approve that. Um, uh, two weeks too slow was saying about seeing... I think it's unlikely you'll ever see me throw a chair. Um, I, I saw that clip of Eric, which was hilarious, um, but I tilt, but I think not quite so badly. Uh, I once threw my phone against the wall in anger, but that's as bad as it gets. Which, I mean, it was pretty bad. Can you cook? <laughs> not really. I'm an absolute dreadful cook. Uh, luckily... Luckily, my ex-boyfriend knew how to cook, and I think my future one will have to as well, because I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless at cooking. What have I done now? Have I already messed this up? How is Thibaut getting on in the tournament? Never play chess when you're hungry. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he didn't even take that. Interesting. Oh, I forgot I berserked. Okay, let me... I mean, this tournament is not going to be very long anyway, so I really should focus. It might be easier to find myself a girlfriend. I'm not sure which way I should take that. I don't think it's a very nice thing to say. Am I going to swap queens? I guess so. Although maybe not. Maybe I should also stop berserking at this time control. What 
where is that bishop going? Just has to go back. I think tonight's stream is going to end in tears. Could I, could I just take that? What was the last move? Was that a free rook? What just happened there? What was the... What did I... Did I miss taking his rook? Fucking... Fuck's sake. That is ridiculous. And I missed it again. I think maybe he's just taking the mickey. I missed taking another rook. I mean, even if I wanted to provide you guys. Okay, I flagged him. What on earth was that? <laughs> Jasper, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm very tired. I'm not sure it's good enough an excuse for what I'm doing here, though. What on earth? Yeah, chair is about to fly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this was almost as bad as the Simon against Dan match. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear me. Okay, can we win one normal game? I need one normal win. Just one. <sighs> you know, one of the ways to beat me in the Grand Prix is to just not go G6. Like, as soon as black doesn't go g6, I lose sort of my enthusiasm a little. How do I deal with this pin? It's really annoying. I want to get rid of this bishop. Can I try and play c4? Ay, ay, ay. I think I like my position now. So if we get him to go passive, this has to be good. But I'm, try I'm trying to provoke d4. And now I'll bring my queen while well, he's going to take that square away from me. <laughs> Not sure where that knight is going. It's just going back. Okay, I need a new plan. That was not the beginning of a great plan. Okay, let's just go for it. I can't think of a sensible plan, I'm afraid. Okay. Okay, so he's closing everything here. But I'm going to... Oh, I don't understand what is going on here. Okay, so we've closed everything up now. Let's try and go back to a5. No, he won't let me, of course. But I need... Can I claim that my knight is better in this, somehow? This is such a weird position. What did he just play? Oh, here for the draw. Yeah, I'll take a draw. Oh, I was going to lose on time. Especially after queen f3, I'm probably just lost. I'm a dumb 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 d
What the fuck? What's that? Thanks for that one euro donation, Milos. Oh dear. You know what? This almost makes me want to go on longer than I planned. That was... <laughs> I don't know what that was. I have no idea what on earth that was. Okay, let's get a win at least to honor Milo's donation there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should change your voice notifications. Yeah, I, I agree, Jasmine. <laughs> I'll look into that after the stream. Okay, this guy, I am just going to checkmate. Like, there is no way I'm not checkmating Monkey Pushing Wood from this position. This is like my dream, basically. I am going to checkmate you. Maybe. The fuck. Fuck. I am such a petzer. Unbelievable. So upsetting. <sighs> okay, let's still try and checkmate him somehow. <laughs> Maybe I can checkmate him on the age file. Too weak, too slow. Pick up the pace, BBX. <laughs> Thanks for that, Fisher Boy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did I succeed? Am I going to checkmate him? I think I. I think I. Okay, I mean, maybe he can run. No, he cannot run. Maybe he can, he's trying to run. But okay. Did he, he actually berserk? Got there. I told you. I can do it better. I told you. I was going to. <laughs> oh dear, okay, Jespe, I'll have to look into that setting as soon as the stream is over because this is descending into utter, utter nonsense. Coming back to the game though, I did say I was gonna mate him. Why am I playing at 2600? Why? What is wrong? Who is Lance? Okay, so for the first time we sort of have a theoretical debate here. I mean, E5 is not the way to go on about this. Who is Lance? <laughs> oh, I am so tempted to keep on streaming tonight. I mean, I really should sleep, <laughs> but in a very weird way, tonight's stream, tonight's stream is a lot of fun, in a very weird way. <laughs> Lance, ah, Lance is the famous marathon winner. Yeah, I did hear 
of him and nobody knows who he is, right? 77 Sky, hi from Sydney, hello back. Don't think I have too many viewers uh, from Australia, so Lance is so greedy, he just wants to take all my pawns or what does he want? I'm going to try and check mate Lance as well. I don't care that he's a marathon winner. Um, Lance is some Russian anonymous genius, maybe Kasparov. It would be freaking hilarious if I was playing Kasparov right now, I can tell you that. Okay. So, what is this? He's just ignoring everything I'm doing on the king side. Can I play f5? Can I play e6? And I want to get to that knight to g5, but I'm not sure how it's getting there. It's a long way to g5. I need to get to f3 first. But what I need to do is... <laughs> how am I down to 19 seconds? When did that happen? Didn't see. I'm just going to resign. Oh, dear. I am feeling... I don't know what's happening. I'm feeling so drunk, but I haven't had any alcohol since... When was that last stream? And even then, I only had a couple of glasses. Okay, it's time. Oh, I'm playing LDFA again. Yeah, I'm in Fisher Boy. This wasn't going to be fun. I was just going to get destroyed on the board and on the clock. Okay, too weak to slow has talked to him. So do you have any insight into who Lance is? I didn't drink a chest bay. I only drank a half of the bottle and it was a small bottle too. So, um, yeah, but tonight I'm just punch drunk. <coughs> okay. I'm not going to stop. What did I do?
was this actually? <laughs> I don't know. I I am going to Spiriki. I am going to stream for a little longer if you promise to stop. <laughs> like I can't deal with this. My head hurts. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> that was great. <laughs> no, it wasn't Asios. <laughs> It definitely wasn't great. <sighs> okay. Is Knight G5 coming again? Like, I wonder how many times in my life I have lost an exchange like this. It's just utterly ridiculous. I'm sorry. I love you less than three, 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 less than three. <laughs> that was nice. Kind of. <laughs> okay, how... I can't even close the stupid F file. I mean, at least when these co donations come through, at least when they come through, I ca I don't have to comment on my games. How long is this stupid tournament? It's over. Please don't give me another game in these 10 seconds. Please don't. <laughs> if another game starts now, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. I can't believe there's almost 150 people watching that. Okay, good night, guys. Thanks for the stream, Fire Chatter. at 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 No, it's not funny anymore. Smiley face. Nimso Blitz, thank you so much for the kind donation. There's actually been quite a few tonight. Also, a lot of people watching this nonsense. <laughs> to anyone who's watching for the first time, apologies for the randomness. Since there are so many of you, I'm actually, I was going to just stream for an hour, but I'm going to stick around. You know what I might do? I, I have only one drink, uh, one drink in my room, which I brought home from, from Finland. I might crack that open now and then just join in on the nonsense. Let me show you what I have. So basically, in Finland, a bit like in most Scandinavian countries, you can only buy alcohol in so-called alco. I think the one in Finland is called alco. <laughs> Make it a 24-hour stream. Asios, I actually have a work meeting 10 hours from now that I still need to prepare for. So 24-hour stream is not going to happen. What I have is this. That's a very cute five centiliter bottle of Shiva's Regal. <laughs> I think, I think literally just one sip of that is going to put me to stream, uh, to sleep <laughs> or to stream, I'm not sure. How many percentage? 40 percentage alcohol. The hard stuff. Let's have a poll in the chat. Should I have this now? Yes or no? Yes for Shiva's Regal and no for bedtime. <laughs> yeah, dude, it wasn't me. I probably will drop. I mean, I'm already on 1500 the way I've been playing. I like these no's. No, no. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> it is a small ass bottle. <laughs> Better than my win rate. Yeah, Frozen Edge. Le Tigre. Hello. Who is Le Tigre? Do I know who Le Tigre is? <sighs> Too weak to slow. Votes for whatever Chess Bay votes for. I have no idea what Chess Bay voted for, but I guess she voted yes. Unless I actually have a... I don't have an, a drinking problem at all, a gravy boot. I can assure you of that. I don't actually... Um, <laughs> I was going to say I don't actually drink that often, which most of you won't believe. But the summer, the, I mean, I barely drank all summer. Of course, when I'm around Simon, that's a bad influence. 
but um, in general, I, I don't drink that much, so I definitely do not have a drinking problem. Um, <laughs> Nimso Blitz has a drinking problem. There is not enough drink. <laughs> uh, so what should we do? Let me know in the chat. I am going to open it, I think. TP. <laughs> Thank you, PPRTS. <laughs> Very kind of you. Um, let me know. I'm going to stream, let's say, let's say another half hour. Do you want to have another? I, by the way, I never congratulated the tournament winners. So huge honor, of course, to have Lance uh, join the tournament. Let's see where I finish. So GMMM finishing second. I came 15. Better than expected. Where did Thibault end? Let's see. How do I even... Why can't I move? Why can't I get to another page? Oh, Lance is saying thanks to super streamer Fiona for the great stream. That's so kind of you, Lance. I have no idea who Lance is, but that's a, a huge honor. Hyper bullet tournament. Just play very <laughs> hyper bullet. I mean, if you want, I can organize a hyper bullet, but I'll just commentate on it. I mean, I'm probably more in a chatty mood anyway. So if you want, uh, we can do a hyper bullet tournament, but I won't be playing, but I'll be commentating. That might be fun. Let's do that, shall we? I washed my hair. <laughs> well spotted. I did indeed wash my hair <laughs> like an hour before the stream. So this, <laughs> that's some very astute observation there, Martin Oz. I'm broke now, but my loss made me do this. Blame him. V v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V can't you like turn down your stereo V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V This is fifty percent of your income, thank me, Kappa. V V V V V V V V V Can you still hear me now? Maybe you can hear me now and not the not the donation message actually. For the Bunratty Drinking Fund. Oh, I muted too. I, I muted your message, Bilinky. I'm so, so Binky. So sorry, but uh, for the, that will go to the Bunratty dro uh, Donation Fund. So yeah, I think I found out how to mute the donations and not mute myself. And I, I tried, I don't know if you saw this, but I tried having a sip, but it's really hard from to drink from this bottle. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't muted. Okay. This is strange because, I mean, I'm no expert on XSplit, but there's a button called um, default speakers and one microphone. So I thought that if I muted the speaker, you wouldn't be able to hear the donation, but no. Get a glass, Midnight Fox Data, Dota, sorry. Nah. Not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Uh, let me know. Let's have a quick poll. Ultra Bullet Tournament, and I commentate on it, or just play variants, random games. Okay, so Ultra. Let's do the Ultra so I can relax and just, um, and just spectate. Frank, thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Good night. Okay, so what even is ultra? Is ultra 15 seconds or 30 seconds? <laughs> Sniff the shot. <laughs> no. Okay, what is ultra? Let me just know. Is it 15 seconds or 30? 15. Fuck's sake. Okay, and how long should this tournament be? Let's just make, I think, 20 minutes of this nonsense. It's more than enough. Also, Asios, you have to play in this. If for the first time in my life I'm setting up... <laughs> time before the tournament starts, five minutes of me just chatting nonsense. How do I... Can I withdraw from my own tournament? I guess so. 
I like how Cameron Clutcher <laughs> joined in like a second. Um, one second. <laughs> one second. Every time, I mean, why do always, why do so many people tune in every time I just want to have a quick stream? I was like, as literally, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a quick stream, one hour max, and then I'm either going to get some work done or have an early night and work in the morning. Oh, Bakus, thank you. Thank you. Texting Simon. <laughs> I did try and advertise it as well as I could. <sighs> okay, let's see. Did Asius? Okay, Asius did register. I I don't know if uh, if I told you this, but when I was in Oslo, uh, the day before we did the six-hour stream, Asius got me to play in the daily Hyperbullet tournament. And I played it with my mouse pad, and it was the longest fucking hour of my life. I was like, this is never going to end. But I think I finished in the first, like, I think it, I finished in top 20 or something. So, but tonight, I mean, Hyper Bullet. I always get confused. What's Ultra? I can't for the life of me. <laughs> Lemuel. Lemuel Gullible, yeah, I mean, no, of course I really appreciate the viewers, but so like every time I'm really motivated, like there's not as many people, that's what I'm trying to say, it's like karma is taking a piss, <laughs> like when I want to be serious, karma's like, go on Fiona, have a drink, <laughs> have some fun. What is to commentate about 15 second games? Well, we're going to find out. I have never done any chess commentary on my own. I feel I really need a drink to do this, especially 15 second games. <laughs> Fisherboy, thanks for the compliment on the game. <laughs> Asios, yeah, Asios, I do expect at least one Berserk. Can we get Penguin on this? I think Penguin is actually streaming uh stringing himself <laughs> fiona you talk too much just play some chess little princess <laughs> cute it wasn't me i do what i want <laughs> i talk as much as i want and i play as little chess as i want <laughs> yeah i'm i'm glad i'm glad as Ricky and milos have gone broke Oh, Andrew isn't streaming, but he's online. Let's. Can I message Andrew? How do I message Andrew? I mean, if Penguin, if I can get Penguin to play in this. <laughs> I mean, I am quite enjoying this, am I not? Like, I've had about 10 sips and look how much I had. But it's already working. Okay, so how can I get Penguin? Asios, do you want to message Penguin? Send him a nice message. Let's message Penguin. How do I even message him? Uh, is it Ultra? Ultra Bullet Tournament. Can I just say please join with a heart? This chat is in desperate need of a moderator. No, I think that's what I'm always saying. Is that enough? Ah, oh, he's in a game. <laughs> uh, people are rioting for you I think that will do that's all I can <laughs> I did my best I tried uh, you nominate Bakus as mod Fisherboy you will definitely not be a mod um, there are mods there are quite a few uh, I mean Dan is a mod I'm not sure where Dan is tonight but who else um, Blair is a mod, and oh, should I make the turn? Oh, it's starting. How do I spectate on the game? 
can I? Okay, like this. Okay, so Asios is white in this. How do I? I want to get the white view. I need to sort this out first. Maybe I can. <laughs> this is going to be nonsense. Spuriki has to sleep. Okay, Spuriki. Where any? Asios is just dominating this game. He's only spent five seconds of his time. He's going to flag his opponent easily because Asios is a fucking monster in Ultra Bullet. I actually, when I was in Oslo, I was in um, I was on a bus with Asios, and he was playing Ultra Bullet on his phone. <laughs> And I was just like, what the fuck is this? Um, yeah, but Spuriki, thank you for all your lovely donations. And uh, see you next time where I will have increased the minimum donation uh, for voice messages. Yeah, I'm not sure how to commentate on 15-second uh, on games. Okay. How can I... If I just want to watch... As you, okay, let's just... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Thank God this is just going to go on for 20 minutes. Because this is total randomness. Let me see. Okay, so Asios has another game. He's white this time. He's playing against Mr. Patat. He's increased his Ultra Bullet rating to 2200. He's so much faster than all the opposition. Still has double as much time. We're still all awaiting Asio's first Berserk. This game he is just going to flag as usual. Dirty Ultra Bullet flagger than he is. Don't I even leech as Frozen Edge? No, I don't. <laughs> no, basically, I don't Ultra Bullet. And there we go. Asios has done it again. Flagged another poor opponent. Um, okay, go to Asios and click on TV. So I'll just follow all his games, yeah? Okay, let's do that. So we are now constantly following the star of this tournament, aka LM Asios, who I expect to flag all his opponents. I really hope. Asios will not let the fans down and berserk at least once in this tournament. Of course, I love Asios. Oh, Asios is in big trouble, but is he going to get the flag? Yes, he did. Very close to getting mated there, but got there in the end. Uh, okay, I should mod GM moves. Okay, let's mod GM moves. How do I do this? What's the command to mod someone? Now, the reason I I, uh, I mention Asio so much, of course, is he's a good friend. He was helping me out with the stream. He's fucking fast. But did he find his match here? He's playing the Murder Castle, who is also an LM, but also rated 2300. We have a very tense battle on our hands. Asio's up on the clock, but losing on the board. Those pawns are rolling. But why just blunder the rook? What is happening? This is madness. It's mate incoming. Asios is going to get the flag, I think. And he did it again. Asios. What a genius in Ultra Bullet. <laughs> My neighbors must be wondering what on earth is going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go again. What is Asios? How do I? I need to get back to the tournament view. Okay, so Asios on the verge of getting mated. I think he's not going to get away with this one. Look at. Oh, but he's forced a queen exchange. What a genius move. Avoiding getting mated on the H file. He's now going to do his usual and just flag his opponent who's down to two seconds. This is not going to end well for the player with the white pieces. Asios maintaining his perfect score here. Unless he does get mated, no, his king is making a run for it. One king run! And he lost. Asios lost. Look at this. Unbelievable. With 0 .00, with 0 0.2 seconds on the clock, uh, Pete Pablo was the first to defeat the great Asios. Well done, Pete Pablo. And I... <laughs> We'll need to keep this up. I don't know what on earth I'm doing. Okay, let me type. Let me make mod <laughs> uh, GM. 
moves a mod. Okay, so G moves is now a mod of this chat room while we are looking at this ending where Asios is not just seven seconds up on the clock but also a woke up. I don't think I'm slurring my words because everything I had to drink is a tiny sip of whiskey. <laughs> I think I'm just very punch drunk and enthusiastic about the way the stream has been going. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what else? So it goes on. This time the victim is Alistair M, who's made his way up to the top with just a 1600 waiting. Seems to be quite fast though, but no match for the man of the hour. Is this thing on? What thing? Meanwhile, the flag is impending, giving up a piece, but it doesn't matter. Gravy boot. I, I don't know why people play this. This is ridiculous. I mean, I think some people enjoy it, but... Okay, how how is the tournament going, actually? Can we... How do I go back to the tournament? Oh, I see the tournament standings. Let's open this in another window. Okay, so as uh, so far, Asios only in third place. Petty Pablo, the conqueror, uh, is leading the charge with 25 points, closely followed by Bad Babby. There are 35 people in the tournament, which is a fucking miracle. <laughs> I mean, who on earth are these 35 lunatics? <laughs> Okay, next game. We're playing Super Skin. I'm still awaiting the first Berserk. Where is my Berserk? And what is going on in this game? I think Asios is in huge trouble of getting mated here. Bring this queen to the H file, whoever the player with the black pieces is. Although maybe... No, no. All the pieces are covering the H file. So it's going to be another flag, although this is incredibly close. The rook is making a run for it on the H file, but there is not enough material to checkmate the white king. But Asios is taking his sweet time. He is now get it. he checkmated. Checkmate on the board. Checkmate is the end of the game. Well done, Asios. Is it enough for a comeback in the tournament standings? Not yet, but he's now in second place. Pete Pablo still in the lead. And it goes on. We're playing against Birgir. I wonder if Birgir is from Iceland. I have a good friend called Birgir. <laughs> I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and ask myself, why, dear God, why? <laughs> why? Uh, okay, so... I just checked into the game, but Birkir is already down 5 seconds in the clock, which is too much of a deficit. He's up a piece, but Black has an awful lot of pawns. He's also flagged already, and that is it. Another win. Let's keep an eye on the tournament standings. Very close. There's still 11 minutes to go. I can't believe we've already had 9 minutes of this madness, but time is going so slowly. So, next opponent is Alistair. I'm really awaiting the rematch between Asios and Pete Pablo. <laughs> this is not chess. I know that, Martinos. <laughs> I know. GM moves. Why did you enter this? I have no idea. There are now 36 people. Oh, checkmate. Checkmate once again. I need a checkmate buzzer. If you ever seen my comment, I just, should I talk a bit more like quietly have you had to turn down your speakers yet <laughs> let me know if it's too much of the enthusiasm that's my first ever solo commentary gig and i'm quite enjoying myself <laughs> louder <laughs> okay so uh checking in with asios who's playing asbjorn which is very funny because asios real name is actually asbjorn so it's asbjorn against asbjorn ha 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 Aha. Uh, young and drunk. No, the blue cheese sneeze. Uh, no, I don't play Ultra Bullet. I mean, I'm even too... Oh, and checkmate. We are on a checkmate roll. I mean, I'm too slow even with two minutes on the clock. So 15 seconds is not going to work. <laughs> Again, this tournament is so intense because the games just keep on starting. 
and I am wrecked. <laughs> I am totally wrecked. Greetings from Argentina, Javi. Hola, que tal? <laughs> This is usually the time of the day when I start speaking un poquito español. ¿Por qué solo hablo español cuando soy un poquito borracha? <laughs> uh, and thank you for the feedback on the Che poster or painting there. Because um, I get a lot of stick on YouTube actually from people saying, no, 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 what is this? I think there was a comment the other day. It seems very ignorant to have a Che poster on the wall. And I'm just like, if you don't like it, just go away. <laughs> this is my room. I actually have a few other posters. My other ones are probably less controversial. There's Lou Reed there. Then, as you can tell, I'm a big Led Zeppelin fan. I have three Led Zeppelin posters there. I actually, I actually cried uh, when Lou Reed died. There's a confession. Because I could have seen him live, but I didn't. I didn't go. He was actually in my hometown and I didn't go and then he died and I lost it. Lovely week. But anyway, what I, I've lost the track. Oh, there was a... no. So let's see. So LM Asios is now in first place in the tournament. Pete Pablo seems to have taken a break. Maybe he needed the toilet or maybe he's just had enough of this utter and complete nonsense that is ultra bullet we're almost up to 40 players can we get one more can we make it to 40 players while Asios is trying to flag yet another pro opponent this one sock ninja but very close here both players down to five seconds this is going to be an intense time scramble Asios now dying on time can sock do it he's up a rook he's up a rook he's up a second he's going to checkmate I think this is not going to end well for Asios, and he did get flagged. There we is Pete, but Pete is not back yet, meaning Asios still leading the tournament. Cat Rocket Moo. Actually, Robert, Pla uh, Robert Plant is doing a solo gig in London while I'm there for the Classic, and I would love to go, but I don't know if I can get away uh, from work to see him. Hello, the Ancient Gamer. <laughs> the Ancient Gamer is another handle I'm not familiar with. So if this is your first time watching, for anyone who's watching for the first time, um, this is not what the stream is usually like. Also, dude, it wasn't me. A little advice, please don't drink anymore. I can promise you I'm only maybe half a percent drunk. I'm actually very sober, although it's hard to tell. But I've been extremely tired all day. The last couple of days have been very busy. And this is what punch drunk looks like, I think. Let's play it nice and calm. Okay, so after this tournament and the tournament, how long? Six and a half minutes to go. Asios now has a cons consequent <laughs> five point lead. Uh, after this, I promise we'll take play some nice and calm variant games. And then I will have to unfortunately call it a night at some point. How is the whiskey? By the way, it is very good. It's going down slowly, but surely. <laughs> Stefano Mar, what is your job? I am a freelance chess journalist. Although I'm also going to very soon, um, very soon I'm going to have to, a little change in careers or so I'm going to uh, something which is very exciting I'm going to start doing some consulting and um, I think once I start doing that I'm not sure how much more nonsensical streams like this I'll be able to do because I'm going to have to have a little image change <laughs> and become a bit more sensible or at least if I do them and they probably won't be up on YouTube anymore. Sad, sad times. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, oh, this is getting too serious now. I shouldn't get into this, but it's an exciting new challenge and um, I'm looking forward to it. Consulting for what? Basically consulting for companies, uh, what companies and businesses can learn from chess. So chess strategies, risk management, time management, you name it. 
I haven't started yet, but uh, that's the, the meeting I'm going to in the morning, which is why tonight is not going to turn into a crazy six hour stream or something. Um, two week too slow. Thoroughly enjoyed your after game interview with Vichy and I think Fabi at the Isle of Man. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, it's always, and I mean, we lost, I should at least keep the games open. It's always a great um, privilege to get to interview these players and I think I think nowadays we're extremely lucky in the chess world that um, almost all of the top players are not just fantastic chess players but also great people. I couldn't I couldn't from the top of my head tell you anyone from the top 20 or even more uh, who I wouldn't enjoy interviewing or who I think is not a um, nice person or something. So yeah, it's uh, it was a great pleasure to get to interview them, of course. Uh, are you nervous? Midnight Fox Dota? No, I very rarely ever get nervous, actually. Uh, very rarely. Time management, my speciality. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Gravy boot, that's some good advice about vision everyone naked. <laughs> I like that. Fisherboy, who's my favorite chess player? Um, I think my favorite chess player ever is Morozovic. When I was um, when I was eleven years old, was I eleven? When I was eleven or twelve, uh, I went to see the Dortmund Super Tournament with my with my dad, and Morozovic played a, a fantastic game in the King's Gambit. And ever since then, I've been a massive fan. And I was very sad that he doesn't play so much classical chess anymore and I I hope I hope he will make a comeback to chess uh, eventually. Other than Morozovic I'm a huge fan of uh, Mamed Yarov and MVL. Both of them are very very good friends of mine, very good friends of mine. Um, especially I mean Mamed Yarov, I first met him when I was 11 so I've known him a long time and um, not just are they amazing people, but I love their chess. Uh, I think they're both very creative, very attacking, and yeah, big, big fan. <laughs> Who do I think is the prettiest female chess player? It's a good question, this. I mean, in another, I usually I don't have trouble responding to this. But my mind's sort of gone blank now. Martin, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when I can, when I know who, what my answer is. I actually, I think Ju Van Jun is very cute. Let's go with Ju Van Jun for now. Better question: hottest male player. Um, first of all, Martin Oz, thank you for the lovely feedback. Much appreciated. I think hottest male player will have to be Gwishuk. I don't know if you guys agree with that in the chat. Um, but I would say Gwishuk. Dude, it wasn't me. You should really stop the chat. It isn't funny. I mean, you can say I'm drunk all you want, but it doesn't really matter. What are those faces? Gravy boot. Does that mean you think Eric is the hottest? Who is he? Who is who is Grishuk? If you don't know who Grishuk is, Papa Bless, where have you been? <laughs> Especially for the last few hours. Now, of course, the hottest. Someone was complimenting me on my vlogs earlier, by the way, which was also very kind. I really enjoy doing the vlogs and there's going to be a lot of vlogs coming up and I've totally given up on my ultra bullet commentating. I think I got a bit tired. But look at this, Asios totally taking it away. 80 points. It was a close match between him and Pete Pablo, but Pete Pablo had to probably go away halfway through. Even by just... Um, uh, even by just playing half of the tournament, Pate Pablo almost finished uh, on the podium. I can't believe a draw in Ultra Bullet. How did that happen? Um, 
No, what I always say in my vlogs, and there we have it. Congratulations to Asios, but also to Bad Baby or Bad Bubby. And uh, what? Ive is high waza CM. <laughs> um, but yeah, Asios getting 82 points, pretty impressive. So well done, Asbjorn. Um, Papa Bless seems to really not know who Grishuk is. I think he is just taking the mickey because you don't need to know his full name to look up Grishuk. Um, <laughs> Asios has work in seven hours, so that's even worse than me. Sorry, but I'm very glad you played. You definitely made a name for yourself tonight. I wish I was a CM. Oh, of course. Definitely tired. Um... What was I what, what was I just saying? Oh, of course the hottest grandmaster. I always joke about this. Of course the hottest is David Howell. <laughs> Where is my it's not a a lot of people keep saying blog, but it's not a blog, it's a vlog. And yeah, it is on YouTube. I think you can just my channel. By the way, you should get a uh, subscribing. Does this lead to my channel? I think it should. Let's see, yeah, so this will take you to my channel and you'll find all my vlogs and my streams there. Um. <laughs> Wartonize, so Wartonize is bad babby apparently, so well done to you. Um. Okay, let me see what Martinoz is. Is that... Is that you, Martinoz? The hottest GM is here on the right in the cheap fake leather jacket. I don't see a guy on the right. I mean, the guy who's playing, you mean? Is that you? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Um, but no, David Howell. I always say to David, he is the hottest <laughs> GM in the world. David, of course, I mean, if, if you've been watching my vlogs or following me overall, you know that David is one of my best friends. He will be in Greece. Where else will He will also be at the Forenciel where I'll be vlogging. I might do a vlog from Simon's Crypt event, but I'm not totally sure yet because I think it's going to be utterly ridiculous. Of course, King Vicky, I like this. King Vicky wasn't in the chat until now. Of course, Simon. Simon, David and Vlad, my top three of hottest GMs ever. Uh, Steili, am I late or early? Very late, I'm afraid. <laughs> I was planning to stop this show like an hour ago. Dear me. Okay, there's still over 100 people watching. Okay, so send me. We're going to end this stream with me playing a few games, I think. Ah, oh, Penguin just replied. Penguin can play in 20... Uh, do we need to have another tournament for Penguin to play? I mean, Penguin hype. What should we do? I really want to commentate on Penguin. I mean, Penguin is something else. If Penguin plays... Okay, let's see. Let me know when you're home. Okay. This is not going to end well. Are you allowed to post YouTube links? I think so, Martinoz. I don't think there's anything stopping you from posting links in the chat. Um... Is Asios still around? I really want to see Asios vs. Okay, so, okay. Look at this. Penguin just got home. Okay, I think it's maybe for the best that I don't play any more chess myself tonight. Because if you were around since the beginning, um, my chess tonight didn't go very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another... No, Asios, you need to play another tournament. I'm sorry. I also have a hard day tomorrow. 
So we'll get through this together. But there will be another Ultra Bullet Tournament. Another 20 minutes. Starting in 3 minutes. And you guys, this is your chance to play against Penguin. Why does my tournament not exist? Asius, what did I do wrong? What happened there? <laughs> oh, come on, Asius, just get your mouse. Starting in three minutes. I mean, we can't have Penguin play. We can't have Penguin play and not have any competition for him. Okay, there's already five people signed up. Let's do this madness again. And after this tournament, I will call it a night. I will do commentary on all of Penguin. And look at Penguin has registered. Penguin hype. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna join. <laughs> like I literally can't do this. I'm actually going to withdraw right now, <laughs> just because this is too. I mean, it's as you. I mean, you saw earlier. I can't deal with two minutes chess, but fifteen seconds. Sorry. <laughs> what I will do is I'll try and keep my my commentary up, and we'll be following Penguin. Uh, we'll be following Penguin's games. I mean, I've been watching a lot of chess in my life, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as impressive as Penguin, Penguin playing Ultra Bullet and Hyper Bullet, all the while responding to people in the chat. And yes, absolutely, I do expect Andrew to berserk some games as well, Steili. Uh, Asios disappointed me earlier when, um, I mean, he won the tournament convincingly, but he could have at least, uh, at least berserked once. So, I think Asios is still around, but probably not going to play because he has to work in six hours, and he's apparently in bed. <laughs> Penguin is actually a cyborg. I mean, I wonder where he can go from here because yeah he is only what 17 it's just ridiculous so very very uh, impressive stuff okay so tournament starting in 20 seconds I'm really excited for this I sort of hope Andrew's not watching this because I'm going to try and commentate and it's going to be ridiculous again so do go away now if you're not here for nonsense. Mr. Baron has joined also. Oh, Tan, Tan Baron has joined. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's make sure we follow Penguin. And as I said, I do expect at least one berserk. So no berserk in the first game. Andrew starting nice and slowly here, just making sure he gets that first crucial win. Uh, playing some sensible chess. This is probably one of the most sensible ultra bullet games I've ever seen. I was going to say something about not getting mated on G7, but I was about five seconds too late. And this, I mean, I still don't know. Is it ultra bullet? It's ultra bullet, right? Okay, where is the previous guy who was flagging everyone? Riser 1312, that I assume you are referring to Asios. He is in bed because he's got to work in the morning. Boo. So, first win for uh, Penguin, but he got some stiff competition there. He's playing Yebjorn now. Yebjorn, one of the regulars in the chat. Good to have you, Yebjorn. Haven't seen him in the chat yet, but great to have you in the tournament. And Penguin did berserk, look at him. He only has six seconds, but he's already, Yevian has already caught up with him on the clock. He also has a completely winning position, winning a piece there on D3 with the pawn fork. And this is amazing. 
just flagging his opponent after berserking. So if you are new to this channel or new to Ultra Bullet, berserking is giving away half of your time, but you can earn more points. But in Ultra Bullet, berserking means you have seven and a half seconds. Look at this, he's done it again. Seven and a half seconds for the entire game. But as someone in the chat pointed out, Andrew Tang is not human. Look at how quick he is. Was that a mouse slip? Did you see that? Whoa. This, oh, is he going to get flagged? Is he going to get flagged? Abit Viking is doing an excellent job, but it's maybe not going to be enough. Look at this. Oh, wow. Abit Viking, Abit Diti was doing such a great job. I thought he was going to get Penguin, but no, Penguin is just on another Ultra Bullet planet. So, Penguin White, both players berserked. What is this opening? Queen d3, Queen h7, Queen h8. I have never seen anything like this in my life. This stream has descended into total madness. I don't know what to say. Look at these players. Bad Babby, who, by the way, came second in the previous tournament. This is really a battle of the flaggers. But I think I think he's going to checkmate. No, he didn't checkmate. It was checkmate and won on the 7 But flagging also did the job in the end. I am going to need another sip of my tiny Chivas regal. <laughs> Five card draw, absolutely. I think mouse skills is what it all comes down to. You can see Penguin now berserking all his games. Let's have a look at the tournament standings. I expect uh, Penguin to be proceeding, uh, dominating proceedings. Has Tal withdrawn? Oh, I think Tal only played one game and that was it. But look at Penguin, 15, five point lead already. He's down on time, but he has so much material. I expect him to just checkmate his opponent. And he didn't even need to checkmate. He did flag again. Martin Oz couldn't agree more. This isn't chess. This is... Oh, Yabjorn. Yabjorn. <laughs> Yabjorn, who's just joined us in the chat, was apparently not familiar. Not aware this was an ultra bullet tournament. Both play... Oh, wow. This is some serious duel here between Penguin and Kilikas, both players berserked again. Is this just a draw? No, of course Penguin is going for more. And he did it again. I mean, I can barely get a sentence in until Penguin flagged his opponents. Chess Torren doesn't like chess without increment. Uh, then you have come to the wrong place right now, I have to say. <laughs> Proxima, he is the fangus, fastest penguin alive. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Five card draw. Most birds are monogamous. Is that how you pronounce it? Monogamous? Is it just. I keep waiting for checkmate. There's no checkmate yet, but he's going. I mean, checkmate was coming on H2. I think there was no stopping checkmate, maybe just by playing F4. But I mean, penguin, I don't know how Penguin does it, not just flagging his opponents, but also playing decent chess with seven and a half seconds on the clock, which is just utterly and completely ridiculous. Asios, remember when Penguin stalemated me? I remember I was in the room when Penguin <laughs> check, uh, stalemated Asios, and I think it was the happiest day in Asios' life, basically, getting a draw against Penguin. And there we have it, first checkmate of uh, Penguin's tournament here. Dolomite in two. Dolomite and two. This is crazy, couldn't agree more. Penguin has stopped the berserking, so taking his opponents more seriously. But look at this, he already has a t almost 20 point lead in the tournament. I like it, H4, playing in the spirit of the Ginger GM. I would love to get a sacrifice on h6 going, but no, he's just going for the checkmate on g7. Wow. As Bakuz is, and this was what I was saying earlier. Pla Penguin plays bullet, reads the chat, and responds all at the same time. And we have it again. Uh, Penguin against Killer Kaz, both players berserked. 
penguin already three seconds up. How can penguin be three seconds up on the clock after just 12 moves? And my other laptop just died on me, so I can't see the chat until I restart it. But, wow. I mean, penguin is just leaving me speechless. I also feel very lonely without the chat. I'll let you know when I'm back. Can't see the chat for now because my other laptop is on the very verge of dying and keeps crashing on me. But I think Penguin has won all his games. Can someone stop Cap Penguin? Is there anyone? And look at him go. Look at Harry go. This is going to end in a painful way. Maybe in checkmate. But this is not going to end well for 12 teen. And I've lost my enthusiasm now. I've lost the chat because I love you guys and I can't see you anymore. But I'm almost there. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... How long is left? Still 12 minutes. Time goes so slowly during this Ultra Bullet tournament. Okay, will we see another Berserk? Come on, Andrew. You can do it. And this is just something that's beyond me, basically. How you can play an entire chess game with seven and a half seconds on the clock. I like White's position here, though. Bridge and chess is doing well so far. But the problem is Andrew is just too strong. Too strong, too fast, a lethal. lethal, lethal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What do you call it? Impressive. I'm on the verge of getting the chat back up because I can't... I mean, I'm usually very good at monologues, but it's so hard to keep them up by myself every now and then. And both players have berserked Penguin against uh, Glass Window, who's almost rated 2300, but I have to say, kudos to everyone who berserks against Penguin. And there we have a checkmate on F7. What I wanted to say is, and I'm just about to get the check back up, kudos to everyone who dares to berserk against Penguin because that seriously takes some balls. <laughs> I mean, he's probably going to flag you anyway, but to play against him on his own battlefield... I mean, you're either very brave or very suicidal, basically. And Brit Look at the tournament standings. Okay, let me get the chat back up. Penguin has 56 points. The next person after Penguin is... <laughs> what can I say? Words, words fail me. Words fail me. Okay, I am now back in the chat. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> and okay, we can now go back to Penguin's games. Penguin is yet to drop a... S oh, this is probably as close as it will get. Look at this. He was under a second there. Under a second for Penguin, but got there in the end. A blaze of glory. Welcome to the stream. When is the crypt event? It's on 18 November, so less than a month away. It's going to be the most craziest, the most crazy chess event of all times. I will see if I will vlog from there. Checkmate! Oh, oh. Did I just see a checkmate that Penguin didn't? Look at him, he's down a second. I didn't see it. Will Tactical Abyss be the first one to flop? He did it. Tactical Abyss. Congratulations. Tactical Abyss, the first one to beat Penguin. Wow. Very impressive. But it doesn't really matter. Look at Penguin. 66 points. Who was, who was he taken down by? Was it Glass Window? Either way, very, very impressive. <laughs> I like this. You have a career as a commentator. Thank you. And again, look, this was really close. These ones, these battles are close as well. Penguin against Killikaz. Again, both players 
Berserking. Fisherboy, gotta go. When's your next stream? Great kid as per usual. More shots next stream. Thank you very much, Fisherboy. Thank you for your nonsensical donations and voice manager uh, voice messages. My next stream, unfortunately, is a couple of weeks away because I'm off to Greece on Wednesday and a penguin just did it again easily this time. My next stream will be on November the 9th when I'm back uh, from Greece, but I will be vlogging from there, so keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I will also be doing a daily highlights in video and player interviews from the European team chess championship in Greece so make sure to follow them on Twitter <laughs> hint hint I'm running that account on Twitter on Facebook on Instagram and especially on YouTube where you will be able to not just see all my interviews but also watch the live commentary which will be done by the one and only Jan Gustafsson um, okay does Penguin have this good? You're asking the wrong person, I don't know. Someone else I'm sure can tell you, Byron. Uh, will I interview Spiridon? Who is that again? I know who this is, but I seem to have forgotten. Uh, okay, and apparently Penguin is on Discord. And back to his game, he did get revenge on Glass Window. Can someone confirm that Glass Window was the one to take Andrew down? Bakus, will I be commentating alongside Jan? I don't think so. Maybe maybe for a couple of moments here and then, but it's I think the plan is for Jan to mostly do commentary on his own. Um <laughs> who's Dean? You get to sit next to Jan, you're so lucky. Ah, it was Tactical Abyss, of course. Thank you, Asios. Uh so gave kudos to the wrong guy. Yeah, absolutely tactical abyss. I think the only one to have been able to take down Penguin so far. But here we have another duel on our hands. Penguin did did he berserk? I think so. He's down three seconds on the clock, but it doesn't matter because he just checkmated his opponent. But it was Berserk versus non-Berserk. I think that doesn't matter. I think if you beat Penguin one way or the other, you deserve all the credit you can get. Okay, so here we go. Again, these guys have battled each... Oh my god, can you see this? Do you see the... And my laptop has crashed again. It's even... It's doing very strange things now. But can you see this? record between penguin and killikas that is bad 77 to 6 and killikas seems to be a very good ultra bullet player as i said andrew is just on a different planet to all these players and now he's playing glass window again look at this score 48 to 4 i mean wow but Glass Window is doing well so far. It's just a <laughs> pity he's down a queen, but and also on the clock. I mean, it's just incredible how Andrew turns these things around as well. Sometimes I look and he's down a couple of seconds, and then I look again, and he's just A, flagging, and B, checkmating these guys. Okay, so we have it again, a berserk against non-berserk. Uh, Black went crazy and sacrificed on f2, but he's now one Andrew's queen. Can we have another upset here? By someone who has an unpronounceable name, Diners Targaryen. <laughs> what is going on here? I mean, Penguin just too tricky, too tricky. He's being pushed to the limit here, but it's not going to be enough. Just unplayable, and I've lost the chat again. Sad. There's again almost 40 players in the tournament. Can we get three more? Can we get three more players? And I like I like that glass window. Although he has a terrible score against Penguin, and who doesn't? He keeps berserking. But this is not going to end well. Look at this poor Black King. The Black King is on a whole world of pain. And Glass window did get flagged. Still three seconds on the clock for Penguin, which is almost half of his starting time. 
I mean, I, I'm glad I only have to commentate on this for three and a half more minutes because all I do is say how amazing Andrew is and how, oh, 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 Queen H5, not a good move. I think we will see checkmate on the board in this game. The queen is going to come to this diagonal somehow. And I think we'll have a mate on f2. And I called it. I called the mate on f2. Wow. This is ridiculous. How many points does Andrew have? 112 points. Where is this man from? Let me get the chat up a last time. I mean, as I announced earlier, I will end the stream basically after this tournament, I think. But what an honor and pleasure it has been to have Andrew join the tournament because he is just something else. I'm back in the chat again, at least until my laptop gives up on me for good. How is, um, I'm a kitty. <laughs> Proxima, that's a good point. Penguin has as many points as the people in th second, third, and fourth. And Tactical Abyss, once again, kudos to Tactical Abyss, um, who is, I think, the only person in this tournament to have beaten Penguin. But we have yet another duel between Penguin and Killikaz, which didn't go on for very long. Checkmate on move 20. On the two minutes left, Javi, where am I from? I'm from Luxembourg. Uh, Martinos, do I feel like playing a calm three-minute game after this? I very much feel like some calmness, but I think I'm going to choose sleep over a three-minute game. I'm in desperate need wow. of some sleep. I feel like I, I mean, how, Andrew just wins his games before I even get to look at them. I will focus on commentary now for the last minute and 20 seconds. So Andrew Tang, aka Penguin G, I never even noticed he spelled it Penguin Jim 1, uh, berserking again. He's playing Tactical Abyss, who's the only man to have been able to take him down tonight. Will he get revenge? It very much looks like it. I thought he was going to checkmate there, but he's probably going to flag. Although, once again, Tactical Abyss is putting up a great fight, but no. This time it wasn't to be. And But look at the score between these two. Well, they haven't played each other much, but Tactical Abyss doesn't happen every day. You get to beat Penguin down to 30 seconds, so this is probably um, the last game, or the second last game of the tournament. Who's Dino? That little battle really did you in. As I said, no, it didn't. I'm just very enthusiastic and punch drunk. Um, and, oh, look at Penguin. This one is close. It's very close. Very, very close. It doesn't get any closer than this. Penguin did flag, but he had only 0.26 seconds on the clock. And that concludes the tournament. Look at this. Penguin, 137 points. Wow. Kudos once again to Tactical Abyss. Although he only came uh, sixth, the only man to beat Penguin. Uh, second play, plays Kilikas and Lecker Coat Ook. Third, uh, congrats to all of you. Thank you so much for Penguin uh, for playing in the tournament. Uh, so, yeah, what can I say? This was tiring. <laughs> This was tiring. I mean, Ultra Bullet is just something else. I don't think I could keep up real life commentary on Ultra Bullet. Interview. <laughs> I think I'll try. Uh, I'll try and and um, I'll try and get Andrew on stream another time, but properly, not like the stream I did in <laughs> in Norway, where I can barely remember having him on, but. I would love to have Andrew uh, 
on stream for for real once and I'll, I'll work on that but for now I need to be at the meeting nine hours from now and I have a couple of hours work to do to prepare for that meeting so uh, I'm afraid I am now going to call it a night tonight has been a lot of fun it was a lot more fun once I had uh, I didn't have to play anymore <laughs> because if you were here from the beginning my own play was a bit of a disaster. It's been a long chess night. I watched all of the MVL Grishuk match. I think some of you did too. So that was pretty spectacular. And um, yeah, once again, thanks to all of you who watched, who donated, who played. Special thanks to uh, Penguin for <laughs> playing in the tournament as soon as he got home. As I said, I'm off to Greece on Wednesday, but I will be vlogging from there, so keep an eye on my YouTube channel. And I will do my next stream on uh, November the 9th. Chess Bay, who am I cheering for tomorrow? So tomorrow is Nepal against Karyakin. I think I'll be cheering... I'll be cheering for, for Naples, not because I have any personal preference for either of the players, but just because I like his enterprising style of chess more. So I think I'll, I'll be rooting for Nepal. Um, anything else? Yeah, chess plays, I don't know how she does it. She really is everywhere. Said, the stream <laughs> was really something different. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny how these things go because I was I was thinking before I started streaming, I was half asleep and I thought, okay, I promised to stream, so I come on for an hour, I'll show my game from yesterday, I'll have a quick half hour tournament. And then this happened, so you never know. How about a host for Bigfoot? Yeah, I can do that. Maybe I should talk to Bigfoot, see if he is interested in auto-hosting uh, each other. How do I do this? Let's see if I can host him right now. Host Bigfoot. Now hosting Bigfoot. So I think I am now hosting Bigfoot. I might even tune into his uh stream myself just to see what he's like because I've never never watched any of Bigfoot stream. I think I've even auto hosted him so I'll message him see if he returns the favor. But yeah anyway I think I've talked enough for now. <laughs> Probably gonna pass out within five minutes of ending the stream. Uh but yeah once again it's been a lot of fun going to miss you guys while I'm in Greece but I will be back November the 9th so just over two weeks from now and I'm looking forward to seeing you all then for now have a lovely evening have a great week take care love you all and see you soon bye bye